Okay, I'm somewhere in the forest approaching Fisher Creek Road. I went from Hillsville to and out for about 10 minutes and I turned off into the dirt and uh, I don't know what road I'm on now. I think it's Dom Dom Road. Dom Dom. In the, this is all track and dirt. I'm approaching Fisher Creek Road and 450 meters. And just making sure my eyes don't deceive me and I can go back on these. Yep, that's all good. Now there's supposed to be a turn right here. So my G my Garmin is saying turn right there. <laughs> there's no there's no right there. <laughs> Tell him he's dreaming. <laughs> Oh, it's funny. All these these shrubs must have grown over some tracks. I don't know where it's pulling these tracks from. <laughs> it's here. Looks like there. <laughs> Supposed to go down that way. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't think so. I don't think so. What we got here? Can I pass? Yeah, that looks like an easy. I'll just go around to be sure. I think it was that way. Whoa. Oh, this way. Is this the turn? That way. Fisher Creek Road. That might be it. Well, <sighs> arrive in 22 kilometers, Dom Dom Creek Road. Got no idea where I am. I think we start. Uh, let's go into. We're going to go into protection mode. What does that mean? It means no more routing away from home. We go to protection mode, given the time, it's approaching 5 o'clock. Let's go home. Uh, which is two hours away, which is a good time if I can, an hour and a bit away, which is good time. And same thing for the Garmin. Let's go out. And where to? Let's go home. Now, which way will it route me? It says make a U turn. Hmm. I don't want to go U turn. Hmm. I think if I go straight, it will take me to Marunda Highway, according to the Apple Maps. Oh, there's Fisher Creek Road, I see. Oh, that does take me back to Marunda. Okay, and that looks pretty clear on the map. Let's do Fisher Creek. Okay, so I'll go back to the app. Okay, good, let's go Fisher Creek Road. Fisher Creek Road it is. So, looks good on the Garmin. It's not telling me to do U turns. Alright, second gear, let's cruise it. At least uh, everything I've gone through so far, I know if uh, I get stuck, I know that I can make it back the other way. That's the main thing. And here we have something else. I'm just going to be cautious. 
make sure I can get through it easily, yes, no problem, I shall continue. I wouldn't be so cautious if I was in a group, you always got people to help you, but um, I don't really feel like picking up my bike at the moment, um, I'm enjoying the slow cruise through the forest, it's good, good crawl. Itchy nose. Ah. Ah, what's this? Ah, easy. Okay. Should probably pay attention to the forest. Let's look for some animals. No, no let's not look for some animals. Let's stay focused on the road. <laughs> and now uh, here we have a puddle coming up. Oh, I'm just going to avoid it altogether. Just go around the dry a bit. Too easy. It's saying 300 meters. I'm going to turn right. Right. All right. There's a dip. Looks. Yeah, looks right. Looks safe. So let's go. And I'm just doing that because once I got I got to a dip and I was right over the edge and really I could have turned around with great difficulty but it's easier if you can um, have a choice before the dip rather than on the dip. I think the weather's good because it's dried out any if there was any bad wet stuff it's dried it out so that's good it's not I'm not counting on it counting on it being really slippery in a bad way at any stage can you hear the bike how effortlessly it just rolls up and over and through the ditches and everything I love the way the traction the bike just um, just glide through that stuff like a four-wheel drive tractor you know it just chug chugs along really easy so we're heading to White Hill track Ooh, I don't like the word track. The word track brings back bad memories of other paths I've been on. When it becomes a track, you lose the width of the car, you get more of this bumpy stuff, and it becomes narrow, and, and the terrain becomes worse, you know what I mean? So, let's hope it doesn't get too tracky. Temperature check. Box fine. Yeah, this is where it looks, looks a bit too tracky. Tracky. Not too bad. I'm just sitting and cruising my way through it, so it can't be that bad. So 1.6 k's. And then we're turning left. Oh, what's this? Ratty, this looks ratty. Okay, I can see where I'm going. And I'm aiming for it. There was a way around there, around the outside. That's a big hole, isn't it? 
That'd be tough for a car, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think as long as you come into these situations uh, patiently, with plenty of time, and uh, no stress, I think that's the main thing. And ideally you'd come with a tent, small tent, just in case time runs out, gets dark, and water. So I have water. The only thing I didn't pack is my tent, which would be a good idea. And if, if you're doing it just for emergency purpose, you don't have to pack um, your ground mat and all the other tent stuff. You don't even have to pack your sleeping bag. You just want to pack your tent, that's it, just for emergency purpose. Because uh, if you just make, make and do, you'll be fine. Um, with just a tent for shelter you can use your jacket and um, all that sort of stuff as a pillow or you can make make up stuff so I'll have to put that in my notes take a tent if you're going dirt just in case that's a good idea tent um, yeah let's say a tire blows out although I have a tire kit in the back and I've got a pump um, let's say I bugger it up and I don't get it right and I stuff it and I can't move the bike and I'm on my own mm, yep tent definitely tent definitely And I do have a small tent, it's not that, it's not that, um, okay, let's have a good look at this one. Before I go in, to be sure, to be sure, to be sure. So, this looks alright to go across. And then I can go this way. This is pretty flat. This is quite muddy here, so I have to I need a bit of speed to get to there. Then I can ride along the edge here. And uh and that's it. Okay, that's not too bad. What if I go in the middle? This is flat. So this is good. Um, what about this bit? Well, that's very muddy. I don't know about that bit there in the middle. No. No, I like this edge better. <laughs> yeah. Let's do the edge. So I'm going along that edge there. Alright. Okay. Now the trick here with mud is nice and steady. Not too quick. But nice and steady momentum. Okay. Wait till I catch my breath. Goggles. Okay. Up we get. Focus, look, and point. <laughs> and I did. <laughs> and I, I got through. It's alright, I made it. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> um, no sudden movements too with mud. If you're going to accelerate, just do it gently and try and adapt. But what happened is my back tyre there 
um, slid off the side and wanted to go back into the mud you see so when you pick when you choose to go on the side be mindful of that the edge might cave in and pull you in Alright, how are we doing for time on the video? Good. Heading for White Hill Track. Oh, I don't like these track names. Tracks are bad. Looks like I'm coming up to something. That's a straight line, not wriggly. Which means it must be a road. Okay. That could be a good thing. Gee, time goes quick when you're rolling in the bush. <sighs> Alright. I'll, um... Bring you back on another video.